<laughs> you ready? You want to feed some goats? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. I'm going to get it out Oh, like they said, it's Simon Says Saturday, number 43. We got a late start this morning, so we've got everybody in the barn. Three generations in here. We've got the littles who think it's Christmas in August. See? You got your Santa Claus on. She's got her Santa Claus on. This guy's got his little reindeer on. It's like 90 degrees out here. Actually, it's not. It's only 72. It's, it's humid. It's hot. It's sticky. It's going to rain all weekend. Um, this is going to be an interesting Simon Says Saturday because we got to get the barn done. We got to start back to school shopping and we got to trim some hooves. So that's really it. That's what's on the agenda. Well, we're going to trim hooves. Oh, and we got to figure out a way to stop our 12 year old from spending our PayPal money. That's going to be a challenge. Yes, he spent PayPal money on his little game last night and, um, that's a technology issue, I guess. And a little, little bit of a. I didn't know it was real money issue, so we got to take care of that. But we got to get to work. Tyler, what are you doing? Cute over here. He's just what am I doing? Moose. Moose. Look at the moose. <laughs> Look at the moose. Look at that moose. <laughs> How old is Moose? He was born in February. So six. <laughs> moose is the, going to be the new Tog boy. Oh, there he is, the PayPal money guy. All right, you ready? Yeah. Did you work? You ready? Yeah. Absolutely. She's ready. All right, everybody get to work. Good. We've got hay there and we've got hay all the way up there, but we do probably have about another hundred bales on the way Where are we going? We're gonna go get the, the goats hay. Oh, you had to look at the camera. That's funny. Okay, try to give it to them. That was silly. All right, Tyler, help him out. He's actually got to go over there. Oh. Just throw it in the thing. Into the hay feeder. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I fix rainy sign. But you got, you got it. Okay, it's hoof trimming time. She has assumed the hoof trimming position. And the work is underway. So let's go take a look. This is what a hoof looks like when it's bad. Oh, it's over, so overgrown. She needed to have these done like a month ago, but you know, life gets carried away. When we're having fun. Yes, when we're having fun. But not when Jake spins. Hey, leave Jake out. Leave of this. Jake out of this. Aww. So, you can tell, bad hoof, and she's working better, on that hoof. Better hoof. There, she's starting, a nice girl. starting in the front, working her way back, getting the hey, long long part of the nails off and then working on the actual meat of the of the foot this goat because she has kind of i don't know what would you call that lighter color right so, so sometimes the pigmentation is is white like this um charlotte and we can maybe get an example of what charlotte's look like she's got uh she's got black feet she's got black pigmentation on her hoof but you can see Right there? Yeah, it's starting, it's starting to get... starting to pink. turn very pink. If I cut any further down, it'll start to bleed. So that's as far as I can go right here. And because her feet are so long right now, I may have to come back in a couple weeks and trim back again so that cuticle is lower and I can get her feet trimmed shorter. But for right now, yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's just but a little. But for right now... Um, and what hoof trimmers are you using? Orange handled. Orange handled, yeah, yes. They're not. Uh, Nothing crazy. I mean, they're my favorite kind, though. So they're the yeah. sharpest. They stay sharp for a while. And we can cut them. Um, we can cut them. And we use them on our baling twine, too. Yeah. But you see how they are packed with dirt? That's bad because that can cause hoof rot issues and unhealthy feet. So we're pretty lucky that we. Uh, she doesn't have any issues with her feet. Um, 
And honestly, I don't want to jinx ourselves, but we've never had issues with our goat feet. So, get all that nice and clean. I can't take this part off because when, so when you trim, you're looking at, this is why we usually do this when we're trimming their fur too. This, this line here, you want the bottom of the hoof to be parallel with that line. And it's not right now because it was so overgrown that I can't trim any further down because remember, I started seeing pink. So that's why I said I'm gonna have to come back and I'm gonna have to take some more in a week or two um, when that cuticle recedes. You know, just like in dogs. If their nails are really long, their cuticle will actually grow up the nail as well. So the way to trim, get, get it to be lower over time is to do it in, you know. Stages. Stages, yeah. I can't take it all right now because she wouldn't be able to walk it would hurt. You know, it's just like trimming your fingernails back too far. Yeah, that hurts. It hurts. Yeah. How about cold and I have a chance on? That breeze is nice from the fan. Okay. All right, so I'm going to let you keep trimming. We'll come back and take a look at an after shot when you're kind of done. It's been about 10 minutes and she's done with the hooks on this goat. And I'll show you a little after photo of this guy. Right See how nice that looks. And you we could get it, it even flatter. She's if, not gonna stay still for me, but there you go. Now. But it's much better than the before. Yeah, we so. could, if we were doing a show, we would take a file and really file that down yeah. smooth. But so now this one, we did nick her. We, she I got, did. She got, oh, get the piece I of I nicked her, it. and it, nicked doesn't, her. it looks worse than it really is. Yeah. I not, just did no. the tip, and now she's stepping on it. Yeah, it's not um, too bad. I've actually cut back to far on her way worse than that before. Yeah. And she'll limp a little bit for like a day or two. Um, it's just bruised, but because it's on the tip, she probably won't even be affected by that. Right. So you don't have to spray it. You don't have to get all concerned. It could look like a murder scene, but yeah, it's usually it's not that bad. Oh, you're done with your raisins? Okay, thank you. You want to say anything? No. Okay. Thank you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so she's going to go outside. And when you have 15 goats and all those feet to tr 15 times four, quick, somebody help me. 60. You don't do them all in one day. You'll get blisters, you'll be bad. So just rotate. She was today. You might do one or two more today, but then next, tomorrow or the next day. So you do it in stages. Don't try to do it all at once. But now it's, uh, if you have any questions actually about hoof trimming, put them in the comments below. Um, she'll a, answer them, I won't. Well, we made a hoof trimming video too. We do have an old hoof trimming video from a while ago, but I'll also put this up there as a hoof trimming video. I'll cut this section out of Simon Says Saturday and post a new I one for you guys. I just didn't go into a lot of detail today. Right, so if you so need... If you want more detail, we have that video on YouTube that I spent you know, a good chunk of time talking about right. different parts of the hoof, why it's important to make sure they're short and... Yeah. yeah, so we I might even if I don't get lazy link that video up over here somewhere so you can yeah. jump out of this video to go to the other but detail. Come back and watch the rest. But definitely come back and watch the rest. Yeah, on assignments that Saturday. I mean we've just Saturdays. got people What'd you say? Saturdays. Saturdays? Saturdays. I don't know why. I, I got nothing. Nothing. No Saturdays. idea. So we do get questions sometimes of how much milk do you actually get out of these goats? So the answer is it's different. All the goats is different. So this goat right here, um, who's that? Deandra. Deandra. Oh, that's Deandra? Yeah. What's that? That's Danica, her mom. Danica, her mom. They give us an average of about Five. four cups so far, and she's finishing off right now. So she might get us about four and a half to five cups, and that's twice a day. This one, about, about the same, five, sometimes almost six. And we have others that only give three. And then we have some that give six every time. So the answer is it's all over the map. So yeah, I have a video that I'm gonna eventually post that's just a cute little milk and goat video um, that shows us measuring it out for different goats. And uh, you never know. So the question to, the answer to the question, how much milk will I get out of a milk and goat is, it's all an average. It's all an average. It depends on what you're feeding them. It depends on, you know, if they've got worms, they're going to make less. If it's hot, they're going to make less. If it's, if you're not feeding second cut, it'll be less. It's, you know, I think there's a ratio out there for every 
Turn, Tyler. Come on over. Forward in. Oh, don't spill. Mommy hates when people spill. How old are you? Nine. Nine years old, and you just milked all that out of the goat? I've been milking for five goat. I've been milking for five years, okay? Oh, okay. Excuse, Excuse me. me, mister. I've been for five years. Yeah. How much you got? One, two, three, four cups in there so far. She's probably got one more cup. Do you need me to do it? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't allowed to do it. Mommy took over. Danny is one of the easiest ones to milk, so she's going to finish. I would prefer to say, Danny's not easy. I would prefer to say that she's one of my favorites. Oh, favorites. Okay. So she'll probably, she'll probably squeeze a whole nother. Look at that. And he thought he was done. She'll probably squeeze well, a whole nother like cup out of that one. Done, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, the, I like them, but the thing that I don't like about our other is that I can't milk one side because it's just, my arms aren't equal. It's Your arms aren't equal? Arms oh, do you fair. have more muscle in one arm it's than not the other? Fair. You should take steroids like me. I'm just kidding. I'm only Actually, on steroids because I have poison ivy really bad, so I'm not doing it for muscles. Clearly. Honey. Clearly. I, I want him. <laughs> I want him. noticed I gave mommy the goat back because she has to check my work still after how many years three four years of milking she has to check my work sometimes I'm I just don't get her little, empty wait, wait, wait. I'm getting a little better about not she's checking getting better because about not you're about getting checking better about I'm getting, actually empty I'm getting I'm getting better look at him I look at check him. is because sometimes I come and I do my check and I'm like nope that would have caused issues <laughs> There's a tiny left. There's enough left where I would not feel comfortable doing yeah. it. Because I'm but a little if, OCD about it. She's a little OCD. She doesn't want mastitis. That's I, it. I, so, I've one, had, look ladies. You've ever well, had Well ladies, mastitis. hang on. Have you noticed our, our YouTube algorithms show us that more men watch this than women? Okay. Come here. Come here. Okay men. <laughs> if your ladies have ever had mastitis, I'm telling you, ask them. It Herbs like the flu on steroids. Oh, steroids. So, no, I don't want my girls to be feeling that. So, yes, I make sure that all my goats are nice, as empty as we can get them because mastitis is no bueno. We're Spanish now. No I'm bueno. I'm bilingual. Only a couple words. Hola, no bueno. Pantalones. <laughs> what does that mean? Pants, uh, um, guys. Oh my gosh. Where are my pantalones? All right. All right. So here it is. This is the example of a darker colored hoof, which would be really hard to see if it's pink or not. Right. So unfortunately, a lot of times I yes. try to go slow, but I end up. Yeah. A so you got to be real careful with the darker hooks. That's it. That's what I wanted to say. We're done with hoof trimming again. If you got any questions, go back to our old hoof trimming video or ask comments below. And we're just gonna finish up milking. And these kids don't stop talking. Cats. 
for the cow. You're so cute though, you could have some. Well, I guess that's a good way to end our Simon Says Saturday with the cat drinking all our goat milk. Um, oh yeah, if he drinks all of that. If he drinks all that, we got problems, right? So we gotta run this over to the cow. Uh, thanks for watching. I think it was 43 the little guy said this morning. Subscribe, follow below, and um, yeah, that's it. Quick and easy. Who knows what's going on next? It's only 10.30, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Bucket. Yeah. Full of what? With this. With this? Yeah. Where'd you get those from? Down at the playground. Near the playground and you brought those to mommy? Uh -huh.